time for Mr. Truck, reviewing the latest innovations for your truck and trailer. Howdy folks, this is Dan with Mr. Truck TV. Today we got a little bit of a question and answer session going on. Today's question comes from Jeep 2019. His, uh, his questions are, he's wondering if more and more trucks are going to automatic. There are pluses, minuses, and what do you like most about trucking? Well, first off, absolutely more trucks are going to automatic. Or should I say automated manuals? Because, uh, except for school buses and dump trucks, for the most part, most automatics out here are automated manuals. And that's where there is a actuator that controls the application application of the clutch and of where the gear stick would go in in an XY type axis motion let's see the pluses and minuses of those well the ups are you can get better fuel mileage if you got a properly trained driver they can match it but I mean you've got to be doing some pretty pretty skills driving at all times in order to uh, to match the fuel economy gained by going to these automated manuals the downside you have a computer controlling your transmission at any moment that computer can go out if an airline breaks that operates the actuator it can go out the, the neat thing about it is at least on the the DT12, the Detroit Transmission 12 speed uh, that Freightliner offers, is it's supposed to have a GPS guidance type of deal where it'll actually see where you're at and uh, it will select a gear based on the terrain that you're fixing to head into. It, it'll it's supposed to be really smart and really advanced and get you that better fuel economy. Um, for what you're driving it, it's neat but it doesn't always work as I'm sure the engineers designed it to it, it's it's not a bad operating transmission though and so for for what that is for what the improvements that the automated manuals have made in the past five to ten years I'd say it's it's not too bad you can you can have the majority of the control that you had but if your legs starting to bother you it's it's not a bad deal and if you're a company owner you can get someone in your truck and they've got less of a chance of tearing it up which is which is always a benefit if you're a fleet owner and what do i like most about trucking if you have a short bed truck you know it's not easy to hook up to a gooseneck pop-up came out with these extensions from nine inches to 16 inches to keep you from breaking out your back window when you're pulling a gooseneck trailer and everybody uses a shore bed. That's the most proper truck there is, is a crew cab shore bed. So. Well, I'd say it'd be the freedom. Some of you who are drivers out there, it's like freedom. Freedom's kind of going away. Well, in, an, in a way, you're absolutely correct. There is a lot of freedom that's going away. And uh, it's kind of, it is a little on the sad side. But yes you can't go here you can't go there and there's certain restrictions for weight on uh, truck unfriendly towns and, and things of that nature but I still say the freedom because there's not many other jobs you will find out here where you are able to see and do the things that you do out here my experience comes from hauling a refrigerated trailer in a dry van and I'm willing to bet there are so many more experiences that I could have out here if I changed what I do in the trucking industry. So there's so much freedom in the trucking industry to do many different things. You can you can haul fuel. You can you have a flatbed. The other day I saw a drop deck with a tank on the back and the barrel was actually pointed behind him and quite frankly I thought that was 
one heck of an anti-tailgating device. But yeah, it's the Freedom Hawk here. Yeah, things have gotten a bit more restricted over the years. Yeah, it's not quite as much of a brotherhood as it used to be, but ultimately, there's a ton of freedom. You don't have a boss hanging over your shoulder. Yes, you have, you know, stuff like electronic logbooks that are hamstringing in, forcing you to, to stick to what you're supposed to be doing. <coughs> Excuse me. But, uh, I don't think you're going to get this level of freedom anywhere else in any other kind of profession. So, yeah, that's, that's probably, uh, that's probably my biggest thing. But, uh, y'all have yourselves a great day we appreciate you watching we love it when you hit the like share and subscribe buttons we like other folks getting to hear about the things that we're doing here and we're excited to bring you new and different things every day and uh be safe out there and you keep the shiny side up catch you later bye bye